Hi everybody, Lynn here. There are no dogs in the field, but I had to show you how gorgeous it is out here right now. I can't wait until down the road when we have this all done, pavilions in and everything else. We would love to be able to put it out for donations for weddings to offset the cost of running the ranch so that we don't have to work so hard fundraising. And I think it'd be beautiful to have a wedding down in that corner. Um, the butterfly garden is going really, really well. Thanks to Wendy. She's doing a lot of work on that. Um, Bob and Bonnie have been working up at the frog pond and the catio. And I was so thrilled. We were blessed. See this piece of equipment? It is a godsend. Um, I have to spray the fields and I was doing it with a backpack and a hand sprayer or we were sticking a sprayer in on a wagon and doing it that way and let me tell you it was not easy work and it was taking us forever this actually hooks up to our old mower we call this Cheryl's mower um, that's my other thing if anybody has a mower that they it's in good shape but they're getting a bigger one or whatever we need a smaller one like this one it's an old John Deere but it's not as wide and it can get into places where the new mower can't um, so please think about us if you're getting rid of your nice mower that's just not big enough for you anymore um, so I'm gonna finish it's 90 degrees I'm gonna finish spraying and then in two hours, the dogs will be able to come out here and run in the field again. And yes, I know I'm spraying clover and people that love bees will probably be upset with me. The problem is, as much as you love bees, the dogs seem to be attracted to the bees and they are getting stung. And so it's just not worth it to us here. So we are spraying the clover. Um, other than that, things are going pretty well. Let's see, we have, we are just overrun with Japanese beetle bugs. So if you go to Home Depot or somewhere and you wouldn't mind picking up a Japanese beetle bug trap for us, that would be amazing because we planted all these gorgeous trees and if they eat them alive, we won't have them. And that would just be a shame for sure. Um, I'm dusting things. You know, I never thought that I would be the kind that would get joy out of being out in the heat, mowing and taking care of the lawns and stuff. But when I think about what a thrill it is for the dogs to run on this much acreage, it makes it all worthwhile. And it really is a slice of heaven here on earth. So thank you all for being a part of Second Chance and supporting what we do. And I'm going to get back to spraying. You guys have a great day and stay cool.